Hello everyone, welcome to the very first Fast or Write Writer's Box. If you're not familiar with my website, what I do is I take story prompts from my different readers and I create a short story, usually in a very short amount of time. Normally when I get prompts, I'm given some sort of theme, a title, an object, something like that. But recently, a friend of mine sent me inks because she knows I am very much into fountain pens. And so she sent me a bunch of inks and these are all supposed to be story prompts. Now I have talked to her quite a bit about this and we both agreed one thing that we're going to do is sort of combine other story prompts along with these inks. Then this will be the first month we do this. So what I'm going to show you each month is the notebook, the ink, and the pen that I'll be using. And this is dual purpose. For some people, they really want to know what I'm writing. For other people, they're more interested in the fountain pen inks and fountain pens that I use because I am part of a larger fountain pen community. So let's start with November. So for November, the ink is going to be the Monteverde Copper Noir. Now this is a set of 10 inks by Monteverde and they took a standard color, this one would be orange, and they added a black tone to it so it comes out a lot darker, hence the noir. And the pen, which after a while you guys are going to start seeing the same pens over and over because I am not going to buy a new pen for every single month. This is our Diplomat Magnum Fountain Pen. I thought Magnum was somewhere on here, but it's not, so sorry for that while I look that up. This color is called Crow Black. This is a resin pen, so it's fairly lightweight. I tend to prefer fine or extra fine nibs. This one's going to be an EF nib. I don't think you can see it, but trust me, that's what it is. Uh, for all the fountain pen lovers out there, this is a cartridge converter it comes with it so if you do happen to purchase this pen this cartridge comes standard it's a lightweight pen um, one of the things I don't tend to like in my pens is triangular grips so you can see here how they have those little lines just because most people will hold their pens like that and that grip will work for them but I don't I hold pens like this I can't really change my grip very much so Normally triangular grips don't work for me. However, in this case, it's very rounded. So this is working well for me so far. I have tested it to make sure I can write by hand with this pen. The notebook is going to be the Apica CD15. Now this is the B5 size. So if you're looking for it, they come in different colors. This particular notebook is new to me. It has a really nice paper quality. I believe it's like 81.2 GSM. So for those of you who know what that means, it's a, it's a nice paper for fountain pens. So at the start of each notebook, you're going to see all the information I told you along with the prompt and who gave it to me. So as you can see, if you're really wanting to know my different tools this month, that's what we're using. And you can see with these inks, that's one pass of the ink, two and three. For writers, many of you won't care about this. For fountain pen lovers, you're going to want to know about that. And the really great thing is you can see there's no bleed through. You can see the ink, but that's at pass three that you can sort of see it, but it's still not a bleed through. So, okay, let's get to the writing part. Here is the prompt. It was submitted by one of my readers, El Soon, and she wants a Mac story. The only thing she gave me was the title. It has to be called The Third Client. If you don't know who Mac is, please go ahead and check out my website, fasterwrite.com. You can see, guys, I'm even telling you where to go. And you can look for two stories that are on there. Uh, one is going to be Untitled Maudit Story. I believe the second one's just called like Mac Number Two. I'll find that out for you guys and post it with the links for this. If you want to find me online, fasterwrite.com. 
I'm on Twitter and Instagram at FasterWrite. Very, very easy to find. You can also reach out to me from the website, on social media, anything like that. So here's how it's going to go, guys. These are my tools for the month. Come December 1st, I will be posting the video for that month, which will include a new notebook, new prompt, new ink. May or may not be a new pen. As I said, that's going to be kind of limited. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this first edition up. I just want to give a few shout outs. So anytime I have an item from a smaller company, you're definitely going to know about it. I'm going to tell you. This lovely repurposed ink box did come from Ink Journal. They do sell more than just accessories. They have ink samples, pens, paper, anything you need to get started on a writing journey, especially if you're getting into fountain pens. So inkjournal.com, pretty easy to find. Check them out. The ink here, the pen, and the notebook, these all came from gulaypens.com. So check them out. They are another wonderful company that I get items from all the time. You're going to see them quite a bit, as well as Ink Journal and a third favorite, not pictured here, but Lemur Ink. So give all of those guys all your money for all the pens, all the notebooks, anything you need. So some of you may have noticed this little sticker here. I don't know if you can really see it with the background that I have. But those people who are in the know, who are part of the Secret Short Story Society, guys, you're going to be really excited. So I know you have the sticker, came from Sticker Mule, but we do have other items in process. I'll turn out the right way for you guys. So soon you'll be getting this pin. This pin will be going out in January. It will not be alone. So guys, we are finally finally getting things back together to start sending out your monthly stories. I really appreciate everyone who has been so patient as we got this off the ground. So your new Secret Short Story Society, which means everyone who is not part of this society, these are short stories and also fun little extras that are only sent to people as part of the society. No one else will ever see these stories. They won't end up on the website. You have to be part of the society to see it. So guys, I'm really excited that we're going to have a whole new year in 2021. It's gonna be great for the society, hopefully for Fast is Right as well. So if you have any prompts for me, if you have any inks, notebooks, anything like that you wanna send my way, Check me out online. I've already told you where to reach me, but I'll put it one more time because repetition is key. So fastorwrite.com, there is a contact me section there. Reach out on Twitter or Instagram. The website will receive a new story next Monday. I know it's been almost a year since things have been up there. I've been working on a lot of personal projects. However, guys, we're getting back into the swing of things just in time for the holidays. So hopefully you will join me, send me prompts, just read my stories, give me shout outs. I love you all guys. Let me know what you want to see from me and hopefully we'll have a lot more creative ideas coming our way. So I will talk to you December 1st. That's when this story will go on the website. Don't forget. And we'll see what we see then. Bye guys. Hey guys, I want to do one special thank you to Dragons in Genesis. He is helping me figure out how to bring you the writer's box. Not only is he an invaluable resource for all things media related as far as video and sound go, he's going to help ensure that I only bring you what you want to see. So if you don't check out his podcast, please do. You can find him on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just look for Dragons and Genesis. You can find this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. So once again, thank you so much for helping me with this. I know that as this goes on, anything that gets better is only going to be because of you. Any little mistakes, obviously chalk them up to my excitement. But thanks again. I hope everybody checks you out. And they can find you on YouTube as well. So guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, Type in Dragons in Genesis. You're going to see a ton of videos and live streams.